Hi, welcome to today's QG tutorial, lesson 6. In this video, we'll learn how to import Excel data into QGIS 3.14. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do, please do so, so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons, the link in the description below. Let's get started. So today we are going to learn about importing Excel data to GIS. So what do we need? What we need is an Excel that has XY coordinates. And these XY coordinates will be in two formats, that is the decimal degrees or in UTM. You have data that has degrees, minutes and seconds. We'll need to convert it to decimal degrees first before you can load it into QGIS. I'm going to show you see how to uh, convert these uh, degrees, minutes, seconds into decimal degrees in another video. So we'll go to QGIS and we'll start a new project. Once you start a new project, you'll get a new blank project. Now we want to load our Excel. So we need to look at the kind of data that is in the Excel. So I'm going to go to my GIS folder created. I'm going to go to data. Then I have the Excel file already downloaded. You have, if you don't know where to get these kinds of data, uh, refer to lesson two. We learn how to get this kind of data. And this is pretty is about any Excel that you might be having in your office that has coordinates. So I'm going to open my Excel and make sure that it has the XY coordinates first before we can load it into QGIS. As you can see, it's a Microsoft Excel. Back hit. It has loaded. And you can see it has the long, so which I'm assuming is the longitude, lat, which is the latitude. So there is some other information, amenity, address, street, change set, opening hours, change street, address, and then there is the name, the name of the facility. So we want to know how to map this. You have this in Excel format. How do you bring it to QGIS to make meaningful sense out of it? So the first thing you do is go to your Excel, go to File, and you're going to save it as a CSV. So I'm going to save it as a CSV file. I'm going to save it as, and still save it in the same folder where my Excel data is. And instead of Excel workbook, I will save it as a CSV. You can see, comma delimited. Comma delimited. CSV stands for comma separated values. So make sure that you save your data to CSV. Click on save. Just save it in the same folder. I'll just say yes. Then I can just close it and bring my GIS. You can see in my folder, I now have a Namibia Health Facility health site, and there is one new folder here, new new file here called the Microsoft Excel comma separated values. And if I open it, I still just have the same kind of information that I had in my previous Excel, but now this is a CSV format. So I'll go to my QGIS, then I'll load it as a layer. So I'm going to go to layers. Then I'm going to add a layer. And right now we're not adding a vector layer or a raster layer. We are adding a delimited text layer. So I'm going to select add delimited text layer. To bring up the pop-up box here. Then now I'm going to select under the file name, I'm going to select the file that I'm going to use. Is exercise, which is the Namibia health points. So I'm going to look for it. It's under desktop and GIS folder data. Uh, Excel files. Now you can see it only just uh, displays the ESV files and does not display the Excel files. So I'll select the Namibia health sites because I want to know which where these sites are located in Namibia. Then I'm going to click on open and it will load my Excel. And you can see below here on the sample data, you can see it has already arranged how my data will look like. So let's do some little bit of manipulation here. The layer will be called uh, Namibia Health Sites. I'll leave it at that. It's a CSV comma separated values. 
or you can actually use regular expression delimiter or custom delimiter depending on the kind of data that you have. So I'll come to record uh, field options and not uh, delete anything here. You can actually discard empty fields. If you have an empty field that you want to discard in your, in your Excel, you can just discard it there and not do anything there. Then here there is the geometry definition. The geometry definition it's a point layer. I'm going to select point. Now under the X field, I'm going to select what? What is the X field? The X field is the longitude. So I'm going to select the longitude. So make sure you select the longitude. And the Y field is there. Latitude. So I'm going to select the latitude. In other in other instances, you'll find that when you put just uh, put the Excel, it automatically uh, picks up the X field and Y field. Especially when your column is written X and Y, it just picks up immediately. You don't have the elevations here, so no, we're not going to we're not going to put anything there. But that's pretty much it. Then we can we'll come to geometry. Here is that this is the projection. We leave it at 4326 WBSD, which is a geographic uh, coordinate system. Then right now, you can just have a preview of how your form will look like. The long is the X coordinate, and the latitude is always the Y coordinate. Then I'm, going to, I'm just going to click on Add. Give it a few seconds. Add. And I click on Close. You'll see it has actually added our point data into QGIS. Now, how do we know that the point data that we've added is actually in Namibia? Very simple, we come down here and see where there is the coordinate. We want to add an, an, a layer of the world. We don't have any layers loaded. So I'll just type world and then hit enter. And you can see it actually now says the information correctly to Namibia. This is Namibia near South Africa so uh, this layer is actually a temporary layer what you can do is you can just right click on it first then we're going to save it as a share file so that we have a permanent layer and you can actually do a lot of manipulation with it then I'm going to now look for a place where I'm going to save it I'm just going to save it into the GIS data folder and I'm going to call it I'm going to create a folder here and say Namibia data and I'm going to call it help sites wait to save it as an SC shape file and then I click on ok and make sure that I check this add saved file to map and, I click it. and you will see it will add now the help sites here and when you open the attribute table now can make meaningful sense out of this. That is one way you can actually uh, bring the CSV files into UGIS. Now, before we do anything else to these layers, let's look at another way of bringing the CSV into QGIS. So the second way you can actually download these, uh, okay, bring these Excel data into QGIS is by first saving the layer as a CSV. Then, we're going to install a plugin that is going to guide us on how to bring this CSV into QGIS. So I'm just going to remove, I'm going to remove these layers because we want to do to do the task afresh again. I'm just going to leave the world map here. So the first thing you do is you need to install a plugin. What plugin are we going to install? We're going to click on manage and install plugin. And then we're going to search for MM QGIS plugin and Select the MMQGIS plugin. I have already installed, but if you haven't installed, you can just click on the install button. It takes quite just a few seconds to install. And it says the MMQGIS plugin is a set Python plugin for manipulating vector map layers in QGIS. ESV input output joins, geocoding, geometry conversion, buffering, hubs, analysis, simplification, column modification, and simple animation. So this plugin is also going to be very, very helpful. So we will install the plugin. Then after installing the plugin, since I've already installed the plugin, I click on close, it will appear on the task bar, on your, on your menu bar here. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I already have my CSV file. Remember the file that we generated is the CSV file, the Microsoft CSV file, and I want to load it into QGIS. And 
I want to also extract the M X Y coordinates. So I'm just going to go to the now to the MMQJS plugin. It also has so many functionalities from an, an animate, combine, create your code. But now I'm just in, I'm just interested in importing flash export. I'm going to select import, and then I just go down. There's a attribute export to CSV, but I'm interested in the geometry import to CSV file. I'm going to select the geometry import for CSV from CSV file because I already have a CSV file. Then the input CSV file is what I'm going to search for. I'm going to search for Namibia help sites, which is the comma separated values. I'm going to select that and open. Then the geometry type is a point. Then I'll leave this. This I come here to the latitude field. The latitude field is lat. Uh, or the x uh, y field and the longitude field the longitude field is a long or the x field then the output file i'm just going to go to my data folder again go to namibian data and i have already have the first health site so i'll say there um site maybe two because we already have another L site here, so you cannot override that. Then I'm going to say apply, and it will tell me 121 shapes and 121 nodes have been loaded. And then I click on close. You can see I have the health site two here, which is already a already a shape file. So that's another way of loading PSV to QGIS. Now that we have our layer loaded in QGIS, let's do some little bit of styling. So I'm going to go to properties because I don't want to just see the points like that. Then I'm going to go to symbology. Then I'm going to select categorize symbol. But before I do that, I have to make sure that I check which, how do I want to categorize this uh, information. And you can see there's amenity here. There's pharmacies, there's, let me just, there's clinics, pharmacies, dentists, doctors and all that so and hospital i want to now have these as my category so i'm just going to properties and symbology then instead of symbol symbol i'll select categorized and other categorized i'll come and select amenities and before i change this symbol i want to actually try and now put better symbol like a, a, an svg marker so i'm going to Click onto that. The thing it's a single marker. So I'm going to select single marker here. And the symbol layer type, I want to change it instead of a single map marker. I want to say maybe an SVG marker. So I'm going to select SVG marker. I'm going to leave the width as that and the height as that. Then what SVG marker am I selecting? I just go scroll, just scroll down here. And there are so many SVG markers from accommodation. If you want to uh, accommodation icons amenities the arrows here there is the background components process emergency for hospitals and fire entertainment where there is a pizza place or maybe you can get a drink food you can eat something so i'm going to just select gps icons there are so many more and you can even add some more i'll show you how to download in another lesson so we're going to just look at the gps icons I like using these GPS icons very much. I'm just, I, I'm just looking at this uh, like a health service provider, so I'm just going to select that. Then I click on OK. So we have selected that as our symbol. Then I'm going to classify that according to amenities, and you can see the clinics have been given the red and the hospitals light blue and all that. So you can click on. Uh, apply okay and now they're a bit small we're going to change the size a bit or maybe say i want the hospital's icon to be a bit bigger i'm going to size to that five you can see now they are much more if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe to this channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when, they, when i upload my next video see you in the next lesson